Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have round 11 of YCS London 2023, it's the 250th YCS, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to see Ming Hei K on Labyrinth versus Luca F on Flounderies, we're gonna see them start off with Extravagance, Banish 6, Draw 2, we've seen a lot of the Labyrinth players decide to actually play Extravagance this weekend, um, I don't think I've even seen them activate Prosperity, to be honest. It's just Extravagance. Oh, but I also see... Okay, okay. Extravagance makes a lot more sense in this build. Because they're playing all the furniture. And those cards take extra cards. So, you know, you play Extravagance because you're going to be discarding cards and stuff like that. So, it works better this way. Um, but okay, they're going to go ahead and activate the Ku Clock. Which is going to allow them to activate one of the traps this turn. Then they're going to activate Chandelier, discard itself and Driver, reading over the Chandelier. And then, uh, oh, I think they're asking for a translation on that. Alright. Um, that is the one that's going to go ahead and set from the deck. Yeah, we'll set one Labyrinth Speller Trap from the deck. Um, both of those cards, like, when you play the full Labyrinth Engine like this, your follow-up is crazy. Especially when people don't know how to play against the furniture. The furniture is also cool because uh, depending on what you want to play with it, you know, there, there's, there's other things that you could tech in and play. Um, okay, they're going to go ahead, set big welcome, and then they're going to activate Ku Clock to add itself back to hand. Yep, Chandelier's the one that uh, adds back to the other one. Okay, they're going to special summon that. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that one summons itself. The other one added itself back to hand. Um, Chandelier adds itself back to hand, and then the Stovey summons itself. So they're going to activate Big Welcome Labyrinth now. Uh, go summon and then bounce back. So summon out Lovely Labyrinth, bounce back Ku Clock. Then we're going to get Lovely Labyrinth effect. Oh, also, it's interesting to see Luca F playing Flounderies. I know that they played Branded at Vegas. I was looking at their list. I thought it was cool. Um, but okay, playing Flounderies for this event. I mean, A, there, there's no Zombie World anymore. That is completely out of the format. Destroys Extravagance. That sucks. That card says draw two. And then, what do they, what do they want to do from here? Okay, they're going to activate Lovely Effect to reset the Big Welcome Labyrinth. Okay, so that's going to go through. Yep. And then the Big Welcome can only be activated if they control a Fiend Monster. Which they do right now, it's Lovely Labyrinth. See Ash in the hand also. Can't tell what the trap is. Maybe it's Evenly. So otherwise it probably just would be set here. Uh, past turn. So you hit Extravagance. So you're probably guessing it's like a Labyrinth Mirror Match. Or maybe Flounderies. Activate Pot of Prosperity. Go Banish. Oh, okay, so it didn't matter that Extravagance was hit really. Because we can only use Extravagance or Prosperity in one turn. Yeah, so they're going to go ahead and banish. It's not like you can bluff that your extra deck is like that important because there's extravagance in your graveyard. So it's not like you can like think on the banishes for a little while. Um, but they're going to go ahead and then banish. Yeah, it goes above the grave. Okay. And then Ash Blossom that. Doesn't want them looking at the top six cards. I think I saw Robin in their hand. Robin and three spells. Imagine this map, Robin. The pop cards just never even mattered. They still have a pop, though, with Lovely. At any point they want. Actually, under oh, it's Ostrich in hand, not Robin. And it's Book of Moon. And I can't tell the last spell. But okay. Activates the Unexplored Winds. Maybe they're thinking about popping here because otherwise if they go like normal summon eagle effect, you know, that's going to start causing problems. They're not going to be able to draw off unexplored winds this turn because they activated Pot of Prosperity. Even though it was Ash, the activation wasn't negated. 
Okay, so they're thinking pretty hard here on the unexplored wins. Um, they could use like Ku Clock, and then after that, go ahead activate Chandelier, discard itself, and Imperm. Okay. Now it's gonna go set from the deck. Um, set the Welcome Labyrinth, and then new chain link um they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna get ku clock effect to summon itself out and then they can activate big welcome labyrinth to bounce the ku clock back to hand and allow big welcome to yep yeah, they're gonna activate big welcome summon bounce back lovely labyrinth's gonna be able to use its effect to pop they're gonna get chandelier effect to add itself back. Oh, okay. They're going to activate Book of Moon on the Lovely Labyrinth. That's good. Um, Lovely Labyrinth only stops the opponent from using monster effects in response to the trap cards, not spells. So they're going to go ahead, set the Lovely Labyrinth, and then Special Summon Bounce. And they definitely only play one Lovely, even though they play all the furniture. Lovely is just like a standardized one of. But now I think about what they want to go for. Um, what is the last spell in Luca's hand? Okay, summon out Lady Labyrinth and then bounce. Bounce back to Ku Clock. And then now they're going to go ahead. They have Welcome Labyrinth. Um, that can be activated because of the Ku Clock. Activate map, but I guess it could. Oh, it was it really was map and then ostrich. Okay, what is the middle set trap card though? So they're gonna go reveal ostrich, go banish. Ostrich can banish big welcome, they can't use both effects in one turn. So then banish Robin, summon, new chain link, ostrich one target big welcome, Robin chain link two. Both these players are also X oh it was skill drain. Yeah, that's just game. Yeah, I mean skill drain versus flounderies is also just broken. Yeah, that's tough. I guess it's not game technically yet. But it pretty much is. No response to skill drain. Chain welcome labyrinth. And then chain lady labyrinth goes set. Yeah, they're just going to scoop. But winning this match is huge. Because there's only one round after this. And if you win this round and you lose the next round. Well, you're X2. And then you're like almost guaranteed top. Yeah, you're pretty much guaranteed to top at that point. They have, it looks like they only have one of the furniture, but the opponent's going to go activate extravagance, uh, banish six, it's flounder the extra just never mattered. Uh, okay, so banish, and then draw two. Alright, I guess they can look at what they banished, but it really just doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so funny how they don't even have to look. Activate power duality. Uh, hit map, Harpy's Feather Duster, and Cosmic Cyclone. Alright, grabs the map. Needs engine. Otherwise, probably would have just grabbed, like, Harpy's. Activate map. Map effect. And then... See a trap card in their hand. Oh, they're gonna re reveal Eagle. Yeah, Harpy's Feather Storm's in their deck. That could work well with Harpy's Feather Duster 2 if the back row gets popped. So reveal Eagle, go banish. And then they're going to banish Robin. Alright, summon Eagle. Eagle 1, Robin 2. Yeah, it's Harpy's Feather Storm. So grab back Robin. And then Eagle goes Surge. Let's see. Are they going to grab Empin? They could grab Apex Avion. Can't really see what they grab there. Summon Robin. Robin effect goes search. You definitely would go for Empin. Looks like you want that set up. And then Robin effect to add. Uh, adds Ostrich there. And then Tribute. 
to summon, bring out Empen, and then they can use the effects. So Empen, Robin. Well, they already used Robin, yeah. They're gonna use Eagle. So grab back Eagle, go search. Then grab the Dreaming Town. Okay, any summon off of Empen. I think they have Mega Monarch in hand already. So I think that they summon out Ostrich. Okay, yeah, they're gonna summon that. And then effect to banish the Pot of Duality. Leave the Extravagance in Graveyard. In case if it comes up with like Mega Monarch to stack it, you can stack that instead of Duality. And then set a back row, set another back row. So you don't want to like commit too much here, but I guess you do always have Apex Avion to try to stop evenly. And then, okay, they're going to cut the deck. Let's see, will Labyrinth have enough to beat this? They do have, it looks like a uh, chandelier in hand, or maybe Stovey. So they can activate it and go set. Yeah, they're going to activate, discard, discard, go set, Labyrinth Speller Trap from the deck. Yeah, they're going to need a translation on that. I think they kept Cosmic in hand. So they're going to be able to just like Cosmic that during the end phase. That's that's pretty big, being able to out that. They spend two cards, get hit with Cosmic. Yeah, and they, they're not able to activate the set trap because they didn't coup clock. And they set big welcome, so they're probably going to go set regular welcome here. Alright, and then that's just going to get hit with cosmic. Actually, it might not. It might say, you know what, I can deal with the labyrinth stuff. I'm going to hold this for skill drain. Nope, okay. They're going to go ahead cosmic that. Skill drain is really annoying. But go ahead, banish out the welcome labyrinth. And then draw for turn. Okay. Activate pot of extravagance. Uh, just banish six. Yeah, shuffle up the extract and then go ahead, banish. Then draw two. They still haven't looked at what they, the Flounderies player banned. I'll, I'll banish off Extravagance yet. Is that Droll? It is Droll. Usually when people play Furniture, they play Hand Traps too. Definitely have noticed that. Okay, I think they went to say Battle Phase and they went Dreaming Town for Eagle. And then Eagle 1, Robin 2. Grab back Robin. Go search. And then they can grab the Apex Avion. Assuming that they play it. If they don't, then I guess it's just Empen. Just to try to like get a lot more follow up. But okay, I can see what they searched. Okay, yeah, Apex Avion. Summon out Apex Avion. They could use Birdo to add back. Yeah, it looks like they're going to use the... Couldn't tell which one it was. Uh, okay, grab back the Ostrich. Oh, they also have Pot of Prosperity in their hand, the Flanderese player. So that's good next turn. Um, that can try to... Hit an out to back row. Looking at the top six cards after drawing one for turn is crazy. Someone said Sag, no Dark Samorg. Oh, Dark Samorg would be game. Not letting them set back row. It doesn't even matter you get hit with evenly. Because they just can't do any of those. So they're going to set four. And then pass. All right. Let's see. Do they want a prosperity early on though? It does make us that way you do half damage. So they're going to activate Welcome Labyrinth there. Welcome Labyrinth. Go to try to summon. This is going to be a weird grind game. 
very weird. Because both these decks, pretty much, like, Foundry's actually is just a full infinite engine deck. But the Labyrinth stuff, especially with the, the furniture, it's going to make it a little tough. This build doesn't play as many traps as a normal build, though. Uh, they're going to walk on Labyrinth, go summon. Then... They need to summon in defense. He had to dodge Emp and bring out Lady Labyrinth. And then... Okay, afterwards, they're going to try to activate Big Welcome Labyrinth. So that does turn off the one in the graveyard. So it's not going to be a bounce. So activate Big Welcome, no response, and then activate Lady Effect to try to go set Chain Harpy's Feather Storm to shut that down, and to shut down future monster effects this turn. They have to read over that, but that's strong. Um, that's going to make the Big Welcome pretty much do nothing anyways, because that's going to like summon out Lovely and then bounce back Lady, and you won't get Lovely Effect to pop. We're not going to get Lady Effect to send. Um, we're not going to be able to add back from our graveyard. Or, never mind, a special summon back from the graveyard because it was Stovey. So we're shutting down a lot here, actually, with this big welcome. So now we're going to summon Lady, bounce back Lady. Yep, that checks out. Gosh, Harpy's Feather Storm is such a dumb card. But, alright. After that now... Uh, the Flounderies player can actually, like, start their turn after just, like, using Harpy's Feather Storm to trade with those two back row and making everything known, pretty much. Activate Pod Duality. Uh, we see Prosperity, Toucan, Adventure. Grabs back Adventure. They already have Prosperity. You definitely don't want to grab another one, especially because that Prosperity is just Duality because it's only able to reveal... Three, because the prosperity in hand is going to go for six. Um, They're going to activate map, reveal token, banish unexplored winds, summon token, token one, target unexplored winds, and then eagle two, so grab back eagle, grab back unexplored winds, and then that was our extra normal summon. And then off a of token, summon eagle, eagle effect to go search, that goes through, and then... This looks like it's about to be game. Unexplored Winds is really nice. Especially with uh, Apex Avion. So... I couldn't tell what they grab. Oh, they grab Mega Monarch. Okay, and then summon Mega Monarch. Mega Monarch 1. And then Toucan 2. So Mega Monarch is going to go ahead and... Can't tell what their targets are. Okay, so it's going to target itself to bounce back to hand it looks like. Yeah, looks like they're targeting itself to bounce back to hand. And then... Bounce back to top of the deck, Stovey. And then bounce back to top of the deck. Can't target Lady Labyrinth because... Um, it just can't be targeted, so they're going to target one of the back row. Uh, Empin is able to beat over Lady Labyrinth though, so Lady Labyrinth's not doing anything. Okay, so they're going to return those two to the top of the deck. Oh, and then bounce the back row to hand. Okay. I thought it was bouncing Mega Monarch back to hand. But they're just going to bounce the back row. Toucan goes back. Alright. And then now, do they have a Tribute Summon monster? Or actually, we know that they have Adventure. So yeah, they can get there. Robin 1, Eagle 2. And then Chain Adventure, Tag Out Robin, uh, Go Search for Empin, and then Robin's able to go ahead and grab out. But I guess they already have Ostrich in hand, so they could just summon Ostrich next. Yeah, they're just going to grab a random Robin, a random Eagle, and then summon Ostrich. Uh, Ostrich Effect, uh, Banish, Adventure. And then 
tribute summon for Empen. And then Empen effect goes search. So then Empen's gonna grab out Dreaming Town. Yeah, Dreaming Town I think is like most people play two of that card now. I've seen some people play multiple unexplored wins, but I feel like that just can't be correct. Um, but hopping into game number three now, we're going to go ahead and skip the side decking. Um, we're going to see Labyrinth get to the side. They're probably going to go first. Yep, starts off with a Ku Clock. And then next, activate Stovey, discard Lady Labyrinth. Um, okay, so that's going to go ahead and try to set a Labyrinth Speller Trap from the deck. And then, yeah, let's try to set from the deck. Ku Clock will then special summon itself out. So that way, Big Welcome is better. Because then you can Big Welcome. Just bounce back Ku Clock. And maybe they're thinking on it. I was going to say, I don't think they'd have a hand trap for that. Like, you could play Gamma and Flounderies. Okay, so they're going to summon out Lady Labyrinth in response. Because they activated a Labyrinth card. Okay, checks out. Um, go ahead, set Big Welcome from the deck. And then we can get Ku Clock Effect to then summon itself out. Wow, they're getting, they're really getting like the Full Labyrinth setup. So summon. Oh, what are they thinking on? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's just summon, right? Because you're going to go like Big Welcome next. Summon out Lovely. You know, Chain Lady Labyrinth goes up. And then, okay, you know you're going up against Flounderies. Okay, it looks like they're going to set Eradicator from deck. Okay. Punishment would be strong too, because Punishment can send the XYZ, and then the XYZ is Imperm. So they're going to bounce back to Ku Clock, and then get Lovely Labyrinth Effect to go ahead and try to pop, and Stovey Effect to try to summon itself out. So summon out Stovey. Hit a card from their hand. It is a spell, but it's a quick play spell. It's adventure. I was going to say, you kind of don't want to hit like extravagance here or anything. Kind of want to hit a monster, but adventure pretty much is a monster. Okay, so lovely to reset. And then they're going to activate Lord of Heavenly Prison. So at least everything is known. Everything is known here. But even though everything's known, it's still a lot of interruptions. They have Lightning Storm, Prosperity. It looks like a bunch of spells. So, I think you go like Big Welcome first. So that way you can get Lovely to pop. And then you Chain Eradicator call spells. Yeah, activate Big Welcome. Okay, Chain Lady Labyrinth to go set. And then Chain Ku Clock. So now the trap that we set can be activated this turn. But we're already Eradicator, which is so much. We can set. Oh, we're going to set. Oh my gosh, we're setting the other virus? Wait, nah. That destroys with 15 or less defense, right? Or no, no, 2,000 or less attack. I'm pretty sure that's what Full Force Virus does. They're probably going to bring it up here in a second. Because that's a card that you do not see very often. Uh, they're going to summon Ariana. And then bounce back the Lady Labyrinth. And then new Chain Link. Uh, they can get Lovely Effect to destroy... Ariana effect to draw and then chain eradicator and then call spell and they could also lord of heavenly prison summon itself in that chain link so many chain links that they can do here 
so... Okay, they're gonna summon Lord of Heavenly Prison. Go set. Surprised that in that lovely chain link, they just like, I don't know, just didn't. Okay, they're gonna set big welcome. Didn't eradicate or call spell. And then they're going to add out Chandelier from the deck to the hand. I guess maybe they just didn't want to get rid of Lovely. Oh, they actually just didn't use Lovely Labyrinth effect at all. So now they're going to go Eradicator, call spells. They hit four spells out of hand. Prosperity, Duality, Lightning Storm, Harpies, leaves them with only Robin. Full Force Virus, Tribute, Ariana. Yeah, and then that's just game. 15 or less defense. Okay, yeah, that was, that was the 15 or less defense. And then that, 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 that's just game. That's just game. Okay, Labyrinth absolutely just cooked there. Uh, Flounderies player lost. You know, they could still win the next round. They probably top, but... That is going to be it for round 11 of YCS London 2023. And I'm going to be back at it again with round 12 very shortly. Peace.